right, chat. I've got an issue. And the issue is... It's cold in the UK right now. It's very cold in the UK. And I made myself a nice coffee to be getting on with while we start the stream. And it's just stone cold. I, I made this maybe 10 minutes ago. And it's just so cold that it's already turned my coffee cold. So. Alright. Anyway. I'll put that over to one side. Maybe we'll drink that a little bit later on. I don't know. It's very, very cold. We start something new today. Today we start a new, new game. And that new, new game is called Tell Me Why. Um, and yeah, I don't know too much about it. I know it's a lot like Life is Strange because it's made by the same development team who made Life is Strange. So there's been a lot of comparisons for it. Um, but it's something that I'm actually really looking forward to playing. And we're going to jump straight into the first chapter of it. Now, I don't know how long each chapter is. I've been told it's about a couple of hours. So. I was not expecting the, that vocal bit of the song. We'll probably play this for a couple of hours. I think there's music. There it is. There's a lovely music in the background. I'm probably going to play this for a couple of hours, and then we might finish with DVD, depending on how into the game we get. Um, I'm just going to check for you guys. I think I've stuck subtitles on. Subtitles are on. If you need me to turn... Uh, I don't know how much of the sound I can play around with. Okay, so I'll knock music down a little bit. Put volume up, please. And thank you. So I'll just knock the music down that little bit more. And now, we'll begin. It's a story-based game that takes your choices into account and shapes your relationship with people, so choose wisely. I'm never good with these sorts of games. People usually end up dead or hating me. So... To that effect... Accidentally alt tabbed out of the game. To that effect, let's see how we get on. So the last thing I want to do for a reason for the other bit chat is piss somebody off within the first two minutes of the game. Cheers. I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Bear with me, guys. This is awkward. Why don't I have music in the background? There we go. And. Sorry, I just want to switch my feed around a little bit. I'm going to have to do a little bit of work while the stream is worn out. There we go. Right, sorry. My bad. Back to the game. It's okay. Can you tell me what happened tonight? Oh, what did happen? I... I went to show her my haircut. Okay. She had a gun. Okay. Take your time. She freaked out. I, I. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to kill me, so. So I stabbed her. I killed my mother. Okay, wow. Um, I was not quite expecting it to go in so hard so fast, but okay. Wow. So chapter one, Homecoming. Um, I believe there's three chapters overall, or there's three chapters at the moment. Um, 
but yeah, I think I think I've seen that it's about a couple of hours per chapter, so we should probably finish chapter one today. I'm just gonna turn it down just a tad for you guys. See that audio is already very loud. All right, and onwards. I'm really looking forward to it. I've been wanting to play this for a little while now, so... It looks very cool. I enjoyed the Life of Strange games as well, so... He's a crap shot. <laughs> if he missed that many times, he's an awful shot. So I'm thinking that might be Messy Head Kid from from the memory, like. I don't know. First impressions of a lot. I don't know. It's like... Oh, that was cool. Like a transition to like a radio or a speaker. That's awesome. From a design point of view. I'm gonna find the keys to the I love things like that. Then I'm gonna drive to Firewood. Oh, the road is good as well. Faked out. Everything's fine. Alright, okay. Now, we know number one rule for all games like this is uh, look around and touch like everything. Should I? I've already done that okay. three times this morning. That's that's cool. That's cool that you like ice hockey, I guess. I'm guessing it's saying oh okay. Alright, in the draw. Boom. We'll, we'll grab that, I guess. Oh come on. Why do I still have this? Every time I look at it, it Allison looks like and Bobby from cool. the Caribbean Dream. Senior prom. Get back in the draw, Bobby. Back in there you go. Alright. What else we got? We got a newspaper. And uh, Doc Shock begin this week. Gun control. Cool. Got a lot of photos. Michael and Tyler are so gonna hit it off. Oh, uh, cool. Michael and Tyler are gonna hit it off, apparently. Nice. It's gonna be so crazy to see him after all these years. All right, so it's gotta be the guy from the intro then, surely. <sighs> is he gonna like this, or is it too much? Um, only time will tell. God damn, there's a lot of things to look at in this room. You know what they say: you gotta look at everything. That is a broken space shuttle. Right. Should probably get rid of this. I mean, I can stream it anytime I want. Journey through the stars. It oh. makes me happy just to look at the box. DVDs are cool. Don't throw them away. I need to bring this with me to Juno. All right. Cool. Uh, anything else? Do 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 do. Aha. Not here. Oh, uh, okay. Well. We have got to make solid plans to see the Geminids. 
Yeah, yep, sure. Go. Uh, what else we got? Under the bed? Hey, Lana. Oh, right. I stashed them down here. Yes. Memories? Precious, precious memories. Yoda? <laughs> that you? <laughs> That's where you've been hiding. That looks like Yoda. Alright, I guess Yoda's coming with us. This feels like another lifetime. But we got the keys. Alright. Alright. I think I'm ready to go now. Is that everything we need? One what about Susan? What about what the grave risen? Get invested in the lives of real people? Alright, so that's obviously some sort of walking dead rip off then. Grab it. Okay. I don't not particularly want to linger long things, but I also know that with these games, the storytelling's done in the items. So. Since high school. Right. If we're gonna do it for you now. She's gonna be so awkward. Oh no. Alright, let's, let's have a read. This is cool that it does it so it zooms in on the text so it's easy to read if you like blind click me, basically. Did Tyler, I know what you're thinking, a letter. Why all weird and formal? What's wrong with email? Well, I figured, hey bro, I just wanted to give my twin a shout for reuniting after 10 years of swank juvie. It's more like letter territory. Whatever, you'll thank me when we're 19, the machines have taken over and you have something to read by candlelight. See? Always thinking ahead. Anyway. I can't believe that you'll be out in a real in a few weeks. What? Amazing. I'm definitely going to be awkward when I see you, so please do not try not to notice. How's your last month going? Are you said about leaving your mentees? I bet they're going to miss you. I got my tires replaced, so I'm all good to pick you up, and you can save the snark when you see my ride. She's been through a lot, and we can't all be car guys. Anyway, the veggies. Let me tip them off so we can go straight to the old house and get it ready for the sale and everything. Can't wait to never think about that place again. I really can't wait to see you. I don't know if I made that clear. Smiley face. Love you. Allison. Who is quite clearly our sister. Um, alright, cool. I we're even about to leave this room for the last time. Okay. Oh, look at all these CDs. We got, we got the Dark Ark of Destiny. Delightful Distribution. And Enemies Go? Um, Enemy Go? Man, the soundtrack to my angsty teen years. Okay. Use it for the next level. Okay. Need it more than I do. Oh, so this is like ju this is like super juvy. Okay. Man, these going places. Uh, shit, I gotta do. Help Chris with chorus mission essay. Call Doctor Beck. Read counseling sessions. Meet Aaron. Finish paperwork for escape. W two and letter something for us. Hmm. Is there any way I can? No, that's someone else's problem now. Okay. It's someone else's problem now, people. Man, I'm gonna miss that view. That is a hell of a view. I mean, if I woke up to that every morning, I'd be pretty damn no happy with it. My heart at this point. Uh, so, Songs of Innocence by William Blake. Shouts from the Flood. I wish I could have finished this before I left. And the Transgender God, Man's Guide to Healthy Masculinity. Hey, little guy. Hey, Yoda! I'll be reunited with your sister soon. Alright, now we've got two Yodas. The crafty goblins. Cool. Uh, totally ready to go now. You can buy Herbert. CDs. Herbert the plant. No Herbert. No. All right. Good what else luck. we got? I need to get my application ready for next summer. So he's also getting ready to go somewhere. Or he or she. Uh. Look. Why can't I look? There we go. Take me. This box of junk treasure is now yours by the first. Oh, okay. So he's leaving that for. Uh, whoever's going to be there next. Uh, cool, so you got the schedule for the test and it's set in 2015! Damn. That seems so far away from 2020, you know. Uh, you know I'm bad at this, but I just wanted to say you've been the best counsellor and at risk. Yes, a redeemable youth could want. Thanks for putting up with me and helping me in more ways than you'll ever know. I'll try to make it count outside Fire Loop. Survival is rebellion. Thanks, man. 
Okay, that's really cool. It's it's cool that like this is sort of like a, re I guess it's like a reformal center. I guess. Um, God damn that view though. Um, I guess we're good. I guess we're good to move on. Let's get this reunion on the road. Tyler. Hi. First time we see each other in ten years today. Hi, Tyler. Oh, sorry. I. It's fine, Allison. Hi's a good place to start. God, it's good to see. I mean, when you've not seen them for like ten years, I mean, you, you're gonna struggle to think of something to say, like, hey, wait. Do you have anything else you need to get? No. Nope. This is it. All uh, right. Ten years in a bag. Cold coffee's gone. Then we should We're get on to the hard stuff. We just okay, had time to the morning ferry. You look good in that. Thanks. One of my mentees designed it. It's really good. Yeah, he's so incredibly he's talented. He's quite cool. Cool I got if you a couple get of local coffee like, shops to hang his art. Tyler Ronan. Maybe Under someone like insert coin yep. will make that as an Never actual screwed. jacket you can buy. <laughs> so, are you gonna miss anything Ooh, about this account? place? Gonna miss the people because I mean we left the letter so. Honestly, there must be some people. people that we're gonna miss. The other residents, my mentees, my counselor Aaron. It took me a while to fit in, but once I did, it felt like home. They made me feel safe. Because if we've left they Aaron a message, good. like we must have liked Aaron slightly. That's so Whoa. great. There we go. Thank I'm you really for desk happy over. for you. <laughs> We planning to drive to Delos Crossing or push? You are welcome to walk. Nah, I'll take my chances. Need one last look or anything? Look, let's go. <laughs> I just, these games are visually really good looking. They managed to get like that comic book style, but also still looking like beautiful. Like the mountain ranges, the trees, the countryside views are really great. But I'm looking forward to just sort of diving into the storyline now a little bit more. No, really. I am 100% not creative enough to make that stuff up. Oh, and just last week, they had to turn the ferry around because a bear was on board. No way. The fuck? Someone heard a commotion in the back of a delivery truck, so they opened it up, and there was the bear. And Bad there was the bear. And a literal mountain of empty chip bags. <laughs> you go where the food is. Huh, I can relate to that. So then what happened? I'm not sure. I think they couldn't get him to leave, so they tranked him. Oh, poor bear. Oh, poor buddy. Shot in the ass just for getting the munchies. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can relate. You know what they say, safety first in bear country. Yeah, but prevention is best. Common sense goes a long way in keeping them from getting shot. The bear is fine, Tyler. For now. We are a bear eco-warrior. Have they been talking about loosening up regulations on trophy hunting again? Higher bag limits, inhumane ground traps, even bringing back hibernation hunting. What kind of asshole gets off on killing a sleeping animal? I'm not against hunting, but predators play a vital role in the health of our natural park. What? Why are you <laughs> smiling? I'm being serious. Oh, I can tell, Ranger Tyler. Not yet, but at least I got the school part out of the way. Okay, cool. So he wants to be a park ranger. That's awesome. I can't believe you got a bachelor's already. 
while I, both the half-completed certificate in accounting from an online college that may have stolen my credit card number. <laughs> figure out what you want. You have time. How are you feeling? Like I'm about to drive straight into a white house, and my fog lights are dead. I mean, what do you say to that? Oh, I can look around. How are you? Allison? Oh, zoned out there for a second. Sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I was just trying to wrap my head around the fact that you're right here, standing beside me. Can I? Oh, I can spin it that way. That's you awesome. Apologize. It's a lot. Can I like, zoom in and out or anything like that? Okay. It's that's awesome. That's and again, it just goes to show how. Stunning I'm guessing things haven't the changed much. Shit, did I miss something? Did I miss a prompt? Still the capital of East Jesus Nowhere. Can't wait to get out of here. Oh, there we go. Was it really that bad? Pretty much. But it could definitely have been worse. Like if you'd been tucked away in a center for troubled youth? Right. At least you had Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have survived high school without him. Bet you're gonna miss him when you move to Juno. How's he doing? Good. Good, good. Uh, but I haven't seen him much outside of work lately. He's been busy with his dance and helping his clan organize a potlatch. Sounds, sounds, sounds riveting. Smoke coming out of Stonehouse? That one over there? No, the one just beyond it. You know, the one the elders say is haunted to spook little kids. Oh, right. Oh, a whole group of us were drinking at a bonfire down at the point, and got dared to go inside. We didn't make it past the garden. Sounds fun. So it sounds like she's been here more recently than Tyler has. Well, obviously, because he's been juvenile. But. Is there anything else we can spot while I'm looking around? So, we're really nope. going back there, huh? Okay. The stone house? I mean, we're going home. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Think the house will sell? Well. No interested buyers yet. Turns out people don't line up to buy murder houses with no electricity. At least it's got one hell of a view, unlike Juno. Hey, Juno has mountain views aplenty. It just also has people and fun. Are you still thinking you might be my roomie? Maybe. About it. Hey, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Go for it. Shoot. I was told... Um, I mean, after you, well, graduated, I guess and became a mentor three years ago. Yep. You still basically spent all your time at Fireweed, right? Pretty much. There were a few times I tried to go to these meetups for trans people in Juno, but something always came up. I probably should have put myself out there more, but it was better to be around in case the residents needed me. So you were free to come and go as you pleased? Yeah. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, why'd you nothing. never just why'd you never go see her invested sister yeah curious how you spent your time that's that's gonna be a why did you never come to see me if you could leave anytime you want can feel it coming um but the bit about sort of not wanting to leave the center even though you could i could kind of understand if like if you'd been sort yeah. of in that position where you've never yeah. really known life outside of it for ages um, you'd probably hey you need to promise not to freak out Okay. What is it? It's a gift. From Eddie. I know he's not your favorite person, but... I'm sorry. When you said Eddie, I thought you meant Chief Brown, as in the police officer who arrested me. Come on, Ty. Don't and your adopted father, the man who didn't oh. let you visit me for seven years. Oh damn! The okay. Administration backed him up, Tyler. Yeesh. They thought it was best for both of us. Yeah. Well, it wasn't. It's a peace offering, and you're the two most important people in my life. Mm-hmm. Please, for me. He can't buy my forgiveness with some cheap-ass trinket. It's a gift, Tyler. You know what gift giving means in Clinket culture, and what it means to refuse one. In a Clinket culture? I mean, if it's 
part of culture, then I guess keep it. Fine. I'll take it, but I'm not going to wear it. Really? Really. Do you know what I mean? Like, so if, if it's part of the culture, you wouldn't go against it. Not cheap, bro. Imral, you could call him Eddie. Or even... Uncle? Mm. Hard pass. Or I think you're pushing it now. I mean, I took the damn ring. Is that like whales or dolphins? Or? Yeah. What is it? I want to know. It's going to be like some sort of porpoise, I guess. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No place like home. Yeah. Would it ruin the moment if I said I needed to call home? Uh, yes. <laughs> sorry. Go ahead and stop apologizing all the time. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. All right, you go do that. I guess I'm off to go do shit. So weird being back on this boat. Funny. Beer is my sport. Check my six pack. Ooh, so I can kind of guess the sort of area that we're going to. Hmm. Fuel, got a knife. Keep in the land of moose with that? Good eye. Or the draw on a bull tag. Mm. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You well, those fellas try doing what the captain suggested. <laughs> Charming. Am I going to get drawn into it? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. Hey, great. We're buddies. We're friends. We're neighbors. Uh, just visiting. Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? Ah, uh, no. No, we're just passing through. Like I said, just passing through. Well, however short it may be, sure you'll appreciate your time. This it's. Is it is a lovely place. It's stunning. Now, fuck well, off. Enjoy the rest of the crossing, sir. You too, young man. You too. Hey, right. Allison. Can we take this scenic route instead of the highway? Uh, Allison? Can we ignore me? Don't think she can hear you. <laughs> Guess not. Alright, what have we got? Now we're open! Bed and breakfast! Nice. Uh, what else we got? Uh, canoe for sale! Strong and steady fiberglass transform for psych 5 horsepower outboard. $500. Includes all, but no bargain. Uh, Tungit dance performance? Under the sea dance. Suit up. Sex our only home. Uh, introduction to making devil's club tea. Okay. All right. So some interesting, interesting paperwork there. Ecology matters, don't you know? But damn, this game is beautiful. Alright. Let's go see here what the sister is up to. You all okay? You, you, you okay? Nope, okay. Guess I'll get in the car? I think I'm gonna sit in the car for the rest of the ride. Okay, I guess I'll get in the other side. Smells better too. Well, I was... You're right. I'll stay on deck. All right. Are we? Are we? We here until? All right. Do I? Do I have to do this again? Nope. But do I have to talk to this guy again? See you around town. Yeah. Does see you too, buddy. So literally anything else I can do. Wonder if there'll be time to hit the buzzard hole while I'm here. All right. You've got all your bases covered, don't you? You betcha. You ever tried bow hunting? <laughs> no. 
What worked for Grandpa works for me. All right. Can I steal your car? Are we, are we there yet? Join. There we go. All right. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Wait. Damn. I watched the cell footage you sent me of her. Seeing it for real. Oh, it's yeah. It's like burned down. You could smell the smoke all the way over in Della's crossing. Oh Two shit. Years later, and they haven't cleaned it up at all. The company went under after them. Surprise. No one else is eager to take it on. Someone's all right. right, right? Yeah. It was a crazy day. A crazy day indeed. Anything else? That it? We're getting closer. Is there any way we could go out a little bit faster? No, you're not gonna talk to me. This is, this is real awkward. All right, well, I guess I'll do another lap in the boat while I wait. We're almost there. Look into my uh oh, I can't spin all the way to the camera. Alright, so can I do this? Oh, there we go. Cool. Turns out I could have moved it on. I wonder if we'll get to go to Scenic Route Home. Well, we've not had too much storyline just yet. But it'll come eventually. Oh, almost lost the controller. I mean, it's, 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 if they've not been back here since the night that they were, is it arrested, detained, I guess? Um, yeah, it's going to be weird. Here we are, number 12. It's basically exactly like I remember. Only faded. <laughs> it's exactly how I remember it, apart from it's a shithole. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If Very someone good buys it, they can do whatever might they need, want. Might need it for plot land. You wouldn't care at all. Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. That's cute. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it.
for you. I mean, okay, there's a lot of stuff out here that I think we'll eventually get to explore, but I guess this is, this is what we do. Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. Well, hey, you got the keys. You sure that's the right key? <laughs> yes. Mm. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Through the window. Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. <laughs> At least one of them's got to work. All right. Well, I saw the window was highlighted. So maybe we could try that. Just along here. I could break a window. You know civilized people don't do that, right? Oh. So we're civilized I mean, now? Well, doesn't maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place. All right, I guess that aren't wouldn't adapted. set the right tone. The huh. goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. All right. What we got over here? This is a bird box. Marianne always spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought the mad hunter had stolen? Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Ouch. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? Boy? Oh, yeah. I think you're right. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter. The remember? mad that's hunter. Right. The what does it say? The queen of us supposed to distort his piercing eye? Sandbox was one of her best ideas. Remember how she made it magically appear Christmas morning? Yeah. And somehow she kept us in the house all day. That must have been tricky. I can't believe how old we were when we stopped. Is this a smoker or Speak for yourself. like? I stopped way doesn't seem like the greenest oh. source of energy. Oil tank. She had the money for solar panels. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Right now. Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice scroll. She yeah, can do it. She could make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Mm, we ain't getting in that way. There's another door. Maybe the keys will work on this one. Open sesame. Let me guess. It's locked. Yep. No any other so any idea how we're gonna get in? Hmm. We used to play under the house when we were kids. Yeah. There's a little gap there. Goblin treasure down there. There was a hatch, right? That opened up into the laundry room? Yeah, what what'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? I can see something down there. Stash it there. Goblin secrets are always well kept. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? She always knew when we were lying. What the Waste fuck are these? Kiss the planet goodbye. Can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Uh, guess. Guess I'm not too mad for this. Standing. Oh, wait. Inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. It's locked, all right. God damn it. All right. What was she doing there for Sesame? Tell me, she did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. So, or homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, oh. but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Okay. So, we ain't getting in that way. You said about going under the house. There was like a slope over here, right? We could get down that way. God damn, there's a lot to explore. Gold. Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. Oh, it's a bear! Probably because our mother scared the shit out of him. Alright. 
Got anything that will help down here? You wanna go out there? No, you're right. Alright, so in that case then. Guess do we need to be down here for something? I wonder if they're still fishing here. No. Uh do you still fish? Do you still fish? Nope. You? Every Sunday morning. Once I could leave fireweed, of course. Alone? Totally. At so they come in and break. she said to go and then under I the. I started to really like it. It was relaxing. This really? is really yeah, going to annoy me, isn't it? The lake, the water, the sky, me, just a speck in the middle of it all. So she said there was a way underneath. Really ah, shit! There. Always. You need a hand with that? Yes, please. No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Shovel. Uh, it's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Um. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. So now we do need to go in here. This is going to be one of those, how do you do this? We don't know. I need to get in here. There should be something in here that'll work. There it is. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um, I'm feeling something strange. Oh, what is this? Okay. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouth. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. Oh. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess. Oh, no. They mean to okay, well, is he... You're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. So you gonna remember where the key is? Whoa. Did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. A uh, voice. Memory of us ten years ago, right? I, mean, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. So I guess because we're twins, we have this special sense. I don't know. Whoa! Special bond. Remember. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm coming. Okay, so. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. We know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Well, I guess the silent frog would be the one in the middle. So, which one of you? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. All right. Don't keep my secret, buddy. So, we should be able to get in now. Not through that way, but through this way. All right, cool. And then we can get the screwdriver, and then we should be able to get into our secret room. So, what we got here? I'll save that. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? But bird feed? It is bird feed. All right, tell you what, I might go feed the birds. 
does that mean that? Who left this box here? Okay. It's brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bird friend. All right, we'll go feed the birds. Is there a, like a run button or? Oh wait, what's over here? How did she get around on these roads with this thing? Oh. <laughs> All right, we'll go yeah. price those boards up in a second. Flakes, she promised us. Uncle Eddie got me one. Just go feed the birds, I guess. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. These birds should get a reward for watching the house all these years. Thank you for your service, little friends. Cool. All right. And now I guess we go price those boards off. Okay, right trigger is the remember button. But now we've got a screwdriver. We can open this. I was gonna. I thought it was gonna make me do it then. All right. Yank that board off. Shit. Okay. Well, I guess we're not just yanking one board off. I guess we're destroying the whole fucking thing. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Well, I guess we're about to find out what lives down here. Hello, down there. Everything okay down there? Tyler? Boom. Ah! I knew that was gonna happen. It's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? You're a dick. <laughs> but you're still an idiot. All right, I'm going in for real this time. Okay, see you at the front door in a few minutes. I'm gonna see some more memories down here. Hello, memories. Yep, you got some memories hiding along here for me. Oh, we got like. Wait. Why is it? Where we are can you? do the voice. Twin voice. I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Twin voice. Voice. Ooh. Back. Oh, shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get through the hatch. I think so. We'll, we'll figure it out the dragon. Straight ahead. You need to go left, I think. All right. Well, I want to go right and see if there's. Yes. Of course there was. Look at this. Look at this little guy. Always gonna search for collectibles. Not easy when you're curious. Uh, Dallas Crossing Olympic event for rock skipping. See, I know these games. You gotta look everywhere. Otherwise, you just miss shit. You sure about that? Was it? We're out of the crafting government. Yes, we are. Nope, it was on the right. My bad. Uh, okay. So if I go left, then was there anything that I can grab? Wow, can't say I ever expected to see you again. Oh, Moosey! It's been a long time, buddy. Try. I guess he's just there for us to look at. <laughs> All right. What's next? What does this say? Goblin Den Treasure Room. Whoa. You were right, Chris. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. Told us about all these missing dishes. But the <laughs> goblin never gets up that treasure. We l Pig. It always had to be pig. We nicked all the shit. <gasps> the I found her thunder line. spell. <laughs> I think it's wasting the clip spell. Rest in peace, brave bird. That's cool. If I do this, are there any memories? Nope. Pass the treasure. 
straight ahead. You know, I almost made it to myself. Our voices are just another challenge. Beware, the mad hunter. Are we really on a mission? Alright. So I guess... Somewhere here? Uh, oh, there it is. And up we go. This totally isn't breaking and entering at all. Wonderful world we live in. Oh, it's very rustic. I'm sure it's it's lovely. I'm sure. Quaint, maybe. Oh shit, yep, hello, I'm here. <laughs> Coming. I'm on my way, calm down. Are you okay? Always. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Go on in. You know it's gonna be fine in there. Nice and peachy. Well, we're here. That we are, that we are. Here we are. Y yes, that's also what I said. So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house may be trying to show us. Sure, sure. All right. Oh, we got a nice achievement. All right. All right. So first things first. Broken shelf, broken jar, and the washing machine. It is broken. The dryer never worked to begin with. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. I think everybody hates hangy drippy laundry. God, there's loads of things in here. We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, and now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Uh, pretend to be a warrior? Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a ward. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Maria. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had Ew. anything to do with it. Anyone, anyone done a poopy? Yeah. None of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. So I tried to bury this breast. Oh, I was gonna say I thought it was Christmas laundry. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. What are we gonna do with all her jewelry? Oh, I'm certainly not gonna wear it. Donation pile it is then. Oh, what else we got? Dope. Still Ew. Here after ten years. Impressive. Ew. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing. So many times I looked in this mirror hoping somehow it would show me something different. Hmm. Alright, well. I guess we should probably go look at the Bane room, I guess. Who's, whose room is this? Mary Ann's room. Oh, okay. Don't go in there until we absolutely have to. Right, okay. got it. Got it, got it, got it. Well, what do we got on the table? Coupons? Pinch every penny. Homework? Maybe? So, so like, hey mum, we're sorry broke. 
We're sorry the face got broke. We didn't know you loved it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we'll try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Orin not to be wild in the house. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? Nothing. Nothing interesting. You all know that's a lie. You all know that's a lie. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. Her little shrine things are really spooky. She took so many pictures. Yeah. yeah. Like she had to document every second of our lives. I mean... You can keep some of them. If you want. <laughs> no thanks. I mean, I like the photos of our... Memory! Uh, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Not now. Maybe next year. I would promise! Keep whining, oh. and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short. Really short. What? Look, I'm tired! And oh, I'm and... Tyler I'm cut his own hair. Oh. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. Made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me, too. True, but it felt personal to me. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of fireworks. I missed the cold winter nights squared last year. Those big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Marianne was so tired, she was usually it's asleep like on the couch. I can... is it... I can DIY this? Oh no, I can fix this. We use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories. And then bring the fire back. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. Oh no, mint nut flex. Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out popped a sticker. All right, what we got in here? Dun, 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 dun. Ring, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loves All right, having something we'll probably else. need something of that later. I love fixing things too. Header installs, swapping cams. Uh, those are car things, right? Yeah. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? Oh, wow. She tried everything. Hey, look at this little den. This is cool. What about wind vision? Okay, so the upstairs was like all theirs. Uh, a tale of two swords. That's cool. You're a cool little book. In we go, I guess. Don't come up soon. I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way. Wait for me. <laughs> It's all mine! You were too no, slow! This, this is mine. Hey, the postcard we sent ourselves from Juno. Whatever I am. What? We barely had any friends. We even had to be our own pen pals. Oh, that's strange. I mean, it's not strange, it's sad. How did you convince me to let you put this up? The City of Love. Back then? And in a hockey Someone club. I dream of being a hockey star. Everyone thought sports were too aggressive, too competitive, and too group thinky. <laughs> one thing we gotta get uh, space in, contact. I bet she let us explore our artistic side. You should have seen Eddie's face when I tried to repaint his car. Yeah, I bet Uncle Eddie Damn, Uncle Eddie. Look Ooh. what I found. A little book. Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. The Book of Goblins. Seriously? It was in that chest the whole time? 
All right, so press this to open the book of goblins. All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. Oh wow. It's one of the only times I remember her being a Oh person. god damn. Okay. So they are f full stories. Ah, uh, where is it? Shit. Are you looking for something in particular? There's so much detail in this game. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mm. Remember. Remember! I do is just for giving it away. You read it, didn't you? You have no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. <laughs> there, was a, there was a lot of upset. A lot of upset in that house. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me to keep me from transitioning. Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it right now? That diary was important. I think so. Listen. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, let's go find it. Let's go, let's go. Her room is still locked. I wonder why. <gasps> Memory. As she finally caught the hag, this furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? Oh. No way. Quiet. Let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. <laughs> The memories, the way they've done the memories are really cool. The title. What do you think? Not bad, right? I like it. Uh, I, I really okay. do like it. But I would have changed the end. What? No way. That's cool. I, I totally forgot about this. That's because it's dangerous to mention <laughs> his name. In this group chat. Alright, well. Guess it's time to go in. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Oh Nothing god. Like a good hard shove won't take care of. <laughs> I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? God damn it. Different really? Definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Yes. Hand it over. What are you looking for? So why, why, why did she have some sort of weird lock on her door? One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Tell me. 
Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. Okay. Now I'm gonna Still read. Memories. Now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Okay. Touché. All right, let me read. So it's gonna be like the order that the guests came in, isn't it? Here we go. See that? There we go. Professor tried her eyes and smiled at the two goblins. If, if we were friends, we'd share the cake you stole from me. The two seized by the spectre. Friend? Who is that? Friend is someone you love and care for. Someone you would never hurt. We'd never hurt each other and we care for another. Um, friends don't do that. The words made the princess cry again. That's how they... Okay. So, the bears do portals. So we got bear... Hag, Pelican, Frog, Beaver, so, uh, Bear, Pelican, Frog, you, re you really gonna, oh, I think I'm just gonna force this open. You sure? We're not in a rush, and we'll have to fix it. Really? Okay. All uh, right. Do 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 do. So. Oh wait, she said there was the party. It's something about the party, didn't she? She said something. I swear, she said there was one about a party. Princess's party. Uh, once upon a time, we were headed by the pelican, moose, bear, muskrat. Oh wait, here we go. Um, this is a very good time. The princess went to open her gifts. So, oh, hang on. The princess opened the first box. Inside there was a torch. Inside there's a magic sword. So hang on. So it's going to be someone who represents the torch, someone who represents the sh the. So it's going to be the bear in the middle. Um, I'm trying to work out the pelican who organised, who is pious and attentive, the bear. So is it pelican moose bear? All right, one more try. So I think it's pelican moose bear. Not. You sure you're done? Maybe if we put our heads together. Hurry up. Yeah. I'm trying, all right. Try again. So the princess is party. So it's not pelican moose bear, then I guess. Oh shit! Princess is party. Um, Simpson has a the forest friend showed up at her door. They were headed by the pelican, moose, and the bear. Who was uh, even though the naughty muskrat, who was almost. Had no time had to come. The bear invited to draw on the back, promising. Uh, anyone else who had done nothing to seek from the beach lock and was hard work. Princess had a very good time at a party. So hang on. There we go. That's better. So the entire house party has vanished. We appear to be taking offense for granted, called the Naughty Fairies. We've hidden them from me, but we like games. Guess who has given you each of the presents and you'll get them. Okay, in the torch. Revealed the truth. Someone who wants to make sure I don't get lost in the woods when it's dark. And then I always... Hey, so there's a magic sword. So the bear's definitely in the middle. Someone who always wants to make sure that I have... Okay. 
Five is an intensive. So it's either Pelican, Bear, Moose. So. Hang on. Whatever we do, Bear is going to be in the middle. So I'm going to try Pelican, Bear, Moose. So I guess moose, bear, pelican. There we go. God damn. And boom, we're in. Okay. We got there in the end. After so many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, cozy. Like a win. Oh. Yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Yeah, and god damn it was complicated. Let me forget that. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Uh, okay. No vision, I guess. In the drawers? Aha! Uh -huh. It's here. I mean, <laughs> that was a pretty damn good guess. <laughs> I will fucking take it. <laughs> oh my god, I nailed it. I'm so happy with that. Sensibility amounts to truth. Oh god. So she wanted to take him to like a youth center to try and convince him otherwise. Oh my god. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. Um. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. <laughs> what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. Oh man, this is. Yeah, this is deep. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Damn, I Maybe mean, I know returning to a house like this would just bring about so many memories, and you just think. Ten years went by, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I, this is. I knew it was going to be a heavy game coming into this, but. Jeez. It's, considering we've only had really what two, 
if you don't count the guy on the boat, we've had two characters in this so far. They've managed to tell the story very well just between the two and the memories. Um, so storytelling wise, really, really good. And I do love the use of the memory system as well, it's really cool. But yeah, it's one of those right in the fields games. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Oh shit. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's Tyler's hair being cut. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. No, she's been so uh, sad lately. More than sad. Um she was very scary. Maybe wanna hold off on showing tonight, her. Though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> oh well, no. You don't have to thank me. You're my oh man, look at that cushion. That is a cool ass cushion. Like your brother brother sister we look out for each other but i'm pretty sure i just gave you a really bad haircut <laughs> <laughs> mom mom oh god Don't know if I'm ready for this. Can we go up to the shed as well, or? Shit, that to me says I might have got the wrong end of the stick. Oh shit. Oh man, this game. <laughs> your diary me too i guess she was trying to figure out where you were at yeah well she should have asked i wasn't some goddamn research project i was her child transgender child do you even know how rare these books were in 2005 yeah i was gonna say that's the other thing as well is you gotta remember it's set in 2015 so 10 years ago 2005 which it just would have been as commonplace i guess especially never, in places like it doesn't the middle sense. of nowhere no. in the u.s like you cutting your hair was what set her off right allison she read my diary Damn, she already know. knew it wasn't my hair and if we were wrong about that... You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. 
But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about my life. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Mm. Sure. I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. I mean, well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. was. I, I need to go by the store on the way. Get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not <laughs> sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. Do we have a plan? So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. That's really what you need. All right. Deal. I mean, I could have asked why she's going to rush it, but... Funny guy. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. So what do you need? Just do that. I'm sick of the voice. Who refused to call me Tyler. I'm Ollie the Goblin. He want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. Very cool. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. All right, we good? I think we should head out right away. Are we tired of the view? Just finding it hard to Can never relax. be tired of this view. It's Enjoying beautiful. Well, go ahead. Beauty I'll everywhere. I need to respond to a message. Uh -huh. My sister, a social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> What the Holy fuck? fuck, what are you doing in the house? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Hey, and how you doing? I'm Tyler. No known as Tyler. Three. Oh. Two. Sam. How's your cheese going? Really? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Brother. Oh shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never doing all right. Glad to hear. Damn. I've had I've had one of those like all right, right days, you know, when you just sort of like uh, so, you, Sam. so you know what I mean. I just didn't know they could I can relate. This woman looked so much like a man. Hmm. Uh okay. That's a, that's a hard one to, I guess, approach. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Yep. Say what? Transvestites? It's... Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Devil's Cross. I was gonna say, like, <laughs> world it's moving on without us. It's a, it's a hard. Do you know what? This game does such a good way of sort of like having the representation of like middle of nowhere America for this sort of topic. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? I'm assuming that plane That's noise is on the game and not outside, right. yeah. <laughs> it's not outside my flat. I have oh, to check, yeah, though. Yeah. That's like, no big deal. I mean, you know, your mama, she was, uh, 
such a loud Special plane rumble, I thought it was actually Jerry. inside. You know, uh, well, not inside the property, but I thought it was happening yeah. outside the house. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mom had never had a man around, I took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. I mean... Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, anyway, Fucking spooky. I need your keys, since apparently you went and changed the locks. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad, good. It's all you've got left of her. I mean, yeah, I guess a few bad memories. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? Shit, okay. <laughs> what Tyler means is a fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? I mean, there's been quite a few good memories, you know. Oh, okay, so we could... So we can communicate with each other during these dialogues using our, our twin voice as well. So... I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people would bullshit me. They really surprised you, didn't they? As much as anything ever has. Other folks said they saw it coming. Very well, very well placed photo there as well. Uh, we should go. I mean, whether he's handled or not, he's neither here nor there. That's all you think will get out of him. Uh, I mean, okay. I guess I could ask a few more questions. We can, we can, we can delve into this a little bit more. We can see if we can get a, a few more answers out of him. I guess. Oh yeah, the super complicated puzzle on the door. Oh. Like, very intricate. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? I want one of those locks on my door as well. <laughs> Funnily enough, yeah, we just solved that puzzle. Yeah, never solved it myself. I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, so, uh, I guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Mm, not all of them. All right, I think, I guess we need to go down the he's hammered route. Do you hear me, Nate? Oh, okay. If you do this, I'm going to know we're talking to someone. This is pointless. He's human. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe I'll make him chatty. Now, come on. I think our family is doing enough. Uh, oh. Okay with so you? maybe we have to do that to unlock some more. Oh. Chat options, maybe. It, 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 so I think that's that's gotta be it. I think. I think that's it. We should get going. I don't think we're gonna get any more out of him. That's all you think we'll get out of him. Unless this sort of triggers something else. He's too wasted. You're just gonna have to see. Hey, flat. How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, it's it's good. It's it's very. It's a very deep game. Um, right. Yeah, of course. A lot of a lot of issues raised. It's um. Yeah, it's good. If you like Life is Strange, you you love this. It's very deep and sort of very story driven. Lots to do myself. Lots of to do's on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for... But I also think it's going to be one of those games where the story is sort yeah. of... I, it's a very deep uh, story, but it's not all quite as it seems. I think there's a lot of... Reach out if you need 
twists and turns still to come. Yeah. But I'm enjoying it. It's really good. I think, uh, how are we doing for time? So I think we're about halfway through the first chapter, maybe. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like... But yeah, how's your day going, buddy? It's like some part of her is alive here still. Uh, how long roughly do you reckon uh, in the game time's complete yet? So, uh, I've been told well, uh, that each chapter of the game is about three hours long. Both of you. Um, and there's three chapters, so about nine hours to complete. So not a long game, but we're about an hour and a half into this chapter, so... I don't know, like, I think... When people say it's about three hours long, it could go sort of one way or the other. So, like, if you don't rush around and look at everything, you might complete it, you know, just over two hours. Uh, I think if, you, you know, you really sort of spend all your time reading up all the lore, all the story, looking for all the collectibles, then, yeah, it'll probably take you quite a while to complete. Like, there was so much, when we first got to the house, there was so much that we could look around at. Lots of sort of story-driven items that we could have looked at. Uh, we looked at some of them, but we didn't hang around too much. We kind of wanted to progress the story on a little bit, so. But, yeah, so far it's been, it's been really good. Like, just like Life is Strange, although there's not a lot of interaction for you to do, you get a hell of a lot of story coming back at you, so... Oh, hey, isn't that the... That's the guy from the photos right at the beginning, I think. But I don't know. If I... Can I pause? I hope that's not going to skip the cutscene. Um, just to introduce Michael Tata. Okay, so that's a character that we saw very, very briefly at the beginning. I had to say that the vacuum down to Katie. No worries, buddy. So I was just saying that, yeah, it's... It... it overall, the entire game, you should be just under the nine hour mark to complete but for this first chapter we should get it done in just under f well just under three hours total so we're about halfway through probably i'm ready to talk to tessa but i don't know i don't know if i'm going to do the entire chapter today i might stop at a good point and play some dvd i'm not sure yet out to me while i was in fire which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Oh shit, okay, so we're now controlling Ellison, which I think, well, apart from the very, very beginning game, this is the first time we've controlled Ellison. That artwork is fucking cool. Look at the crab! He's so, I mean, it does, I don't think that's supposed to be a smiley face, but damn, it looks like a smiley face. Hey. Uh, sounds good. Not long finished that speed course. So I'm um, skipping today and then back online tomorrow. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna be. I might just jump on to DVD just to claim the free blood points and that then. Um, and then I might play a few killer games, maybe. Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet. You just jumped on to do it as well. I mean, you might as well. Oh right. Okay. Side note, I'm going to pause the game uh, very, very briefly there. That's very awkward when you're meeting somebody for the first time, when you suddenly turn around to someone and you're like, oh, all I hear is talk about you all over, all, all the time, and so it's finally nice to meet you. That makes things incredibly awkward. <laughs> it just, I've, I've had that a lot um, over the last year or so, where I've been introduced to new people, uh, new family members, and like, oh yeah, I've heard so much about you, so nice to finally meet you and everything, and you just think, what have you been told about me? <laughs> so, that that instantly is going to put somebody on the spot, and you're just going to be like, ooh, yeah. But yeah. Alright, I mean, how are we doing for collectible? Oh yeah, the little lo the lovely odors. 
So we've got one, two, so there's three more collectibles that we could find so, uh, in this chapter. I may have missed one though, of course. Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. Uh, we'll so you claim all your blood points and you spend them all on Death Slinger, nice. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Can I can't remember Death Slinger's uh, perks off the top of my head, so. What's that? Uh. Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. So, we, instead of now being two of us being roommates, it could be three of us sure. being roommates. The more Ronins, the merrier. <laughs> I'm staying with the chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work, then a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. Oh, like, no awesome. Drive, it's so chill, especially- We were talking about going fishing at Buzzard I Hole as well. All the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't That's cool. Me. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... <laughs> Never mind. Tyler, you and that would be my approach to fishing. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. <laughs> Quickest way to catch fish. Put something electrical into the river. Alright, so... Oh. The future mayor... Fuck, Tom Vecchi is mayor. Vecchi? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. Oh, wait. He never really struck me as having ideas. There's a memory here somewhere. Did you? Memory! I want to have the Christmas casino, and noodles, and spring rolls. And can I get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblin. We have to leave some food for the other participants. <laughs> but Auntie Pepper said we can have whatever we want. That was cool. We still make those. What are they called? Just gonna have a quick look around because. Gotta look for collectibles on the right. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. I guess, guess I can't nick that hat as the collectible. I just want to have a quick look around. Oh, look at that! Another memory! Boom. Hey, Ollie! Look! I'm the ruler of this kingdom! Very good. Very, very good. Get it? Does it condone? You're gonna fall, stupid. I wonder if that's a collectible in there. I want it! Gimme! I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It's like my favorite thing. Collectible? Boo! Jesus! How do you always get me? <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. Alright. We, I'm guessing we can't go in. Yeah. Alright! And I guess we are going this way. And here we are. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't <laughs> Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, it's uh you... oh. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or more or less? We've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise! After ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. 
That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Oh, okay. So we still don't quite know how uh, Tess is going to react to Tyler. Uh, they, is that guns back there? Oh, yeah, it is. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? I no, I can't just walk out there, even though I am stuff. Okay, I went to check. I was gonna say I did see the perks come up in chat. I guessing they were their um slinger perks. Michael, you want me to pick up some bird syrup for you? I have some roundabout way of asking you to make me see my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. <laughs> Examine. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer. Mm. Flame candles are fine. Oh, did I have a choice then? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Didn't realize I had a choice. All right. Uh, what kind of lure would you use for a steelhead? Well, oh, they're talking fishing as well. Steelhead. That depends on which squid. Is this a pot quiz? <laughs> hey, I have to be All right, what we got? You want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Uh, juice. Let's go water. water. You do you, girl. Oh. <laughs> Plain candles and water. Such an exciting choice so far. And detergents. Any opinion on cleaning products? I don't know about using them, but that's a fortunate way to spend an afternoon. All right, let's get let's get this nice green one. Organic's better. We'll get the nice organic one. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, yep. how's the shop? I can understand that. Doing inventory before in previous jobs. Not fun. Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. I'm guessing that's everything we needed anyway. We, uh... We found some stuff in Marion's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I mm. do, but not here. I was going to say, I don't think the That's general like store is probably the store. best place to air dirty laundry. But maybe all of us can hang out later and we can get the whole messy story. I mean, I don't just go down co-op and tell everybody about my issues, me. so probably not the best thing to do right now. Uh, what is this? Tyler. Remember the drought king? <gasps> yeah, I saw it. I want it! I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a twelve-pounder! Oh, fucking... I want it, chat. I don't think you guys understand how much I want this. Um... Oh my god, what? I just... Look how magnificent it is! Ah! One day you'll be mine. I want to buy it. Can I put that? Can I put back everything else and just get the that? Look at a giant pumpkin as well. The fuck? Oh! I want it all. All right. Well, I guess this is everything we need. <laughs> can I just walk out the shop and steal it? Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh, no, I right know. Bye, Tom. <laughs> I, thought, I, I thought I had to come to pay, but... Oh, wait, can I have a corgi? Oh, they're chatting away again. But where's... Where's Tyler gone? Tyler! Come back, buddy. Let's go get Trout King! What do we still need to get? The snacks. Oh shit, okay, so I'm missing something. Is it here? Where are snacks? Oh shit, there. Oh, man. Hey Tyler, candy or chips? <sighs> Ooh. Alright, well, 
you got sweet tooth. Sugar rush it is. Gotta be sweets. Okay, I think we're done here. Cool. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Uh, wait, how did you know that he'll ring us up at the counter? All right. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. Oh, oh just no. Need to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, I feel like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask. Oh, we're going to show the book. Oh, the book. You're the only person. The way she rolled her face, and I thought she was going to faint. Like, oh, the book. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. Uh. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. Damn. She really didn't confide I in you. I didn't all. know if that was going to a lead or Your not. Your mother was intensely. That's a real shame. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyra. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. Mm. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. I'm gonna disagree with you, uh, Tessa. I don't the think it was Tessa. God's plan. I told you she wouldn't talk, but she's that CIA trainee. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? It is very weird that yeah, nobody wants to talk about tell. anything here. Sending them at the tip of my tongue. Oh, can we do memories? Memory scan. Scan. Oh. Tessa. Tessa. Psst. Is there something I can do for you? Just shopping. No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? Wow. Um. We've got some on sale. I think you've got everything. Thank but, you. Uh, Thanks. Jeez. Good, Thank good. you. Thank you, Tessa. Well, you know, let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Okay. No, never mind. All right. Well, we can now get in here, though. So. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no, thanks. I'm good. <gasps> I'm just looking for Duck. something that I forgot. What's this doing here? Collectible. Yes. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, we got the collectible, guys. Oh, hang on. So, if we go... Wait, collectible. All right, so we've missed a collectible somewhere. So that gives us an idea of how far in we are. So we were getting a rumble. There's some sort of memory here. There. Got it. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, mom. I'm gonna go outside while you and Tessa come Okay. Out. I'm afraid there's no time for games today, kids. Now let's go. Mary Ann, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Oh, shit. Did you repair for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in my debt? Oh, fuck. Okay. Completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version. Okay. All right. Uh, Mom, can we go 
outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Okay, Marianne, sweet. Can we talk? No, we can't. Let's just leave the glow sticks kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay, so it's like two different views. Depending on who you ask. You remember that slightly differently. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter and then so Marianne passed out of temper. I want to talk to you. Oh no. Marianne defended us because Tessa Please, got all let's just talk for Marianne was angry, Tessa was angry. For a few minutes. I'm gonna go with Marianne was angry. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please. That's really cool. That's really awesome that you can choose somebody else's your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine. Not yours. Please, let's not do this. Oh shit, okay. Fine. Okay. That's cool. That's such a cool mechanic that you can pick whose memory you want to. Okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Yeah, hard. that's awesome. What do you think they They've really thought about that really well. I don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. Mm. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oh shit, we're gonna go question her? Oh my god. Alright, this is... Uh, this is getting interesting. Hey, Marianne, you lying bitch. <laughs> is there something I can do for you? I mean, Tessa, you lying bitch. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. Uh, this wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. But this was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. Hmm. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. She's lying. I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. And she knows more than she's letting on. Yeah. But duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? Yep. The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Oh, so they're gonna try and play the song? To it will trigger something. That's a really cool idea. You may be onto something here, Roman. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. <laughs> so it's turning into like L.A. Noir. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Okay. Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh, let's see if he remembers. This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> oh, he remembers it? Yes. Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. Oh, incredible. A little worse for the wear. Is he gonna put it on? Uh, here it is. Oh no. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my taste. Oh <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put it on. Was it this one? This is it, right? Are we suddenly going to get memories all over the place? Yeah. Whoa. 
I just got hit with a flood of memories. Yeah, that's that, that's a really cool mechanic. <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. <laughs> All right, so that's not the one we were after. So there's another memory here. So Tessa used to keep track of everything in a little notebook. Okay. I also love the mechanic of. Oh, the note. Yeah, it was in the closet. But I also love the mechanic of you can't hear the music that much, and then you hold it down, and you can. That's really cool. I wonder if there's any memory. Oh, wait. What are you doing to me? Uh, I thought you needed help with a song. I needed help two hours ago. Uh, shit. She was. What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Oh, man. Uh... Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? It's big and handwritten, but it's confusion. I've been working with these people for years. Oh, so Tessa gave them the pamphlet about the... What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe that... Yeah, it was like the churchgoers. Maybe it's conversion therapy data. Yeah. Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. All right, what we got? So it's not a loan. It's not a scam. Oh, that's it. A parent's guide to preventing same-sex attraction. Is that what you recommended for Tyler? Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Oh, we're getting all the clues now. The order of garlic Peter kitchen door will be derived. Oh my god, sleeping like happy logs. Um, he starts fights on the hassles again. Alright. Let's grab that book as well. Can I help you, Allison? Yeah, oh, fuck off. No, no thanks. I'm, I'm grabbing good. that book. I'm just looking for something that I've forgotten. This book. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? B, head off his debts. Marianne, there we go. It looks like Marianne started flaking on a debt in October 2004. Five months before. $50 for gas paid off. Like you've seen enough. Uh, groceries and new jacket paid off. Medicine paid off. Groceries paid off. $140 for washing machine. No show. $59 check bounce. No show. Not returning calls. No show. Okay. So now we got all the evidence. Let's, let's quiz her again, I guess. Is there something I can do for you? All right. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. We were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. 
the two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Um, I think it was October 2004. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts. Yeah. Right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. No. Uh, you mentioned she bailed on you. She was done being judged. She sounded like she'd had enough of Delos Crossing. She said she was done with you and the whole town. Was she having some sort of episode that day? But also, you were trying to ship him off to it. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything, it seemed. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? Yep. No. And I think you should go now. Tessa. I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because we we know what's going on here. Do you get that? I do. I just then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. It will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. Mm. I pray every night for you. I don't know. But I, I don't know. I have a lot on my plate right now, so I need to ask you to. Perhaps I should have picked, you know, I should have been a bit more assertive and been like, Can we hey, have Tom. Groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Uh. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? She sure did kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Could have been drugs, could have been taking it off of people's shit, could have been anything. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years, and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But that just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? I mean, kinda. But he also can't help that. That's not his problem, so. The whole damn ship and crate full. Good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing anything. I guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Okay, okay. So we're off to go see Eddie, who was the officer who uh, was there on the night, I guess. So it could be very confrontational. Kind of bleak. <laughs> it's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. Well, of course. Why would you There's stick no around after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing, just bears and drunken disorderlies. <laughs> I 
An Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about Drunk Bear? <laughs> Good anyway, question. he's probably in his office. Upstairs. What? Officer Justin Beaver is not Cleveland. Justin Beaver. So Crossing's longest serving officer. You got anything exciting the position? A little too late. Well, should I decide the wild uh, world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, Which is still close for cleanup as well. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. Justin Beaver! I am the law. Can we. Oh, nope. Home sweet home. Got a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's Lincoln. basically family. <laughs> Damn. Crazy. I'm on the hunt for collectibles. Uh, locked. I will find them. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. This one's got the restaurant, right? Uh huh. Everyone eats there all the time. I will find all of the collectibles. <laughs> what do you know? Still locked. What about this one? Yep, that was locked too. Collectibles, where are you? Eddie must have locked it already. Yeah, but uh, something's in the way. Something's sparking off memories. Must be up there. Yeah, I heard about that. Oh wait. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours. Ah, oh, shit. Anywhere but a cell. Or find some other. Something good in the drawer. She hey, happy birthday. So much crap for forgetting her birthday. Happy birthday. A key. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. I took it. Huh. Looks like oh. she forgot her locker key here. Damn. All right. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Oof, I should have gotten her something. Yeah, you should have. It's your fault. I was so excited to what see am I gonna you, write? it completely slipped my mind. Uh, draw a dog. I think Dee was a dog in a past life. There we go. No point in writing bloody uh, happy birthday. I'm sure, everybody said that. Do you remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers at school were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yeah, <laughs> Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody? All right, what we got here? Dean Becker. Hmm. Greg's just leaving this out on display again. Guessing, all right, cool. I'm guessing none of this should be on display, but yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chest. Tyler, you coming? Let's go. Hey, 
memories up here too. All right, in we go. Allison, hey, just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage on police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Hey, thank you. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? All right. Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Can this key get us anywhere? Feel like it can. Armory. Well, we shouldn't go in there, huh? Boom, Big Mary. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories All in right. some deep, deep part I'll of tell me. Tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna do you go reception first? We can. It's gonna do reception, archive, coffee. Ooh. Left the computer on. Uh, okay, so there's going to be a couple of passwords, I guess. Please reset your password. All employees must be reset. Please note the reception desk it can be accessed using any IFCI ID's password. Talk to Sally and me if you have any questions. Okay, so it sounds like we can get onto the computer somehow. Go. Um, ah, let me look at your desk. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Um, so what's her name? Oh, wait, I just saw it. Susan Sluggo. Oof, I should have gotten her something. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jeff? Jeff. Yep. He, uh... Oh, Denise Wilson. ...last year putting himself between D and... So, a. we're looking for somebody Wilson. Working. Uh, all right. Wilson's not there. He's obsessed with sled dog races now. Uh, she's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. She goes to the Iditarod every year. And she's got a fantasy league called Musher's Little Helpers. It's really cool. Man, I forgot what kind Dude, of kooky Musher. shit she's learning to out here. Hey, now, I'm in the league. Do we think he's going to be... No, that's... Musher would be too many lessers. I'm trying to think what everybody's password would be. Oh wait, what's this? Okay. I mean, we could try Musher, I guess. Uh, Wilson. Uh, the other thing was Alaska. No, that's... Oh, Sluggo? Damn it. Uh, 
Okay. All right. Maybe maybe we'll come back to that. So we can go downhill. Okay, let's go in. I'm feeling a little nauseous. Four days without a bear sighting. Do you think they'll mind if I take one? <laughs> I'm not that hungry. You mean you can grab a cookie, sure. I'll stick the coffee on, I guess. You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? What's this spotted? Oh, uh, shit. Don't freak out on me now. Oh man. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Oh. You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm glad he's. I'm feeling the regret. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Do you mind if I go inside my room for a second? Uh, sure. All right. Wow. It's the first time I've been in here since. So uncomfortable he slapped the door. Here. Have a seat. How together. They put the vase together. The couches? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. That is. Huh. Oh yes. Back there. No way. Found you. Have you been hiding back here all this time? Nice. It's a shame that we missed one. Love memory. Why did you take one away? Is Ollie okay? Mm, fine, isn't he? Not quite. They're all on the other end having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. It could have gone so many other ways. That's the strange thing, is it could have gone so many ways. You're awfully quiet. Yeah, sorry. Trying to deal, but it's a lot. Oh, could we get, could we go get the key for our locker? It's locked. Let's go get the key. It's a shame there's no like rum button. Just gonna take this key here. No, I don't want to examine. I want that damn key. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? As long nope. as we put it back right where we found it, we're good. And let's see if there's any idea what the uh, password.
possibly be on here. Uh, keep up the good work. Have a good gas day, DD. Don't waste another year. Enjoy the chocolates. Okay. All right, let's go open that locker real quick. Oh, nice. I didn't realize that this is a shortcut. Yoinky, yoinky. We really shouldn't be in here yet, but you never know where we might find information about that room. I guess so. All right, what we got here? So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily uh... access all kinds of police files with this. Yeah, like the goblin intruder. Winner on my 20th birthday. Balto came through. Balto? All right. Guess Balto is what we want. All right, let's try Kraken's again. Wilson. Balto. Damn. Shit. Okay. So it's her what birth here? So on her 20th birthday. God damn it. It's going to make me do math and shit. Got so many hoops that we need to jump through. Happy 29th, so take nine away. Can I put the key back as well? So, it's 2015. I should take her out for a birthday drink. Uh, so 2015. Uh, so we want the one from 2004, Tread, I think it's Tread, OZ, T, a damn, damn. Okay. So uh, T uh, E D D. When on her twentieth birthday. So she's twenty nine. Twenty fifteen. So that's minus five. So two thousand. I think it would have been two thousand and six. Should take her out for a birthday drink. Salem. It's going to be Salem or Larry. I completely did the math wrong. Alright, one more time. Salem. Boom! Alright, what have we got? Just a heads up. got arrested for public intoxication last week. And oh no, Sam. His first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. All right, what have we got here? Uh, Miss Rose brought in a set of keys that she found lying on the ground outside the cheese in the lost and found cupboard. Uh, just between us, season two. Tells from a detox tank and then some other lecture. Cool. So, where's the lost and found?
Oh wait, can we? Nope. Can't go in here. All right. Hey. All right. Hey, I, I guess that's uh, that's us. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, Uncle. Do you remember this guy? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. Yeah, mm -hmm. is it? A man grown. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. <laughs> oh, so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fire Week. Oh, uh, that's cool. It's, that it's cool that they acknowledge that he put in the work. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody <laughs> knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She was worried about something. Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No, she dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Mm, and that's the problem. Time. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. You know, I never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usual. It's the other way around. They hate her. Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the day? Oh, day man. That day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for weeks. Maybe a month before. Very strange. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. You want my advice? Nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. Mm. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, or police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. Their procedure, but you're the chief, which makes it even more important. Oh, God, no, Chief Brown. Are you gonna help us? Or are you gonna be a cop? About Tyler, this? no, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty. You kept my sister away for seven fucking years. <laughs> That's what this is about. No. Look, that was the court's recommendation, they're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure, you did. Trust me, son. We all believe that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We oh, God, I don't know. Deal. Oh, it's all happening. You took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? please, let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. Mm. And three years is nothing compared to seven. I don't right know. Now. Being kept apart was wrong. Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart with oh Ryan god, th th that that decision could come back to bite me in the ass. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? E yes, it is. Move on. Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Sounds like this, though. I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? 
it's on me. <laughs> you want to send you out there with an empty stomach? I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's he's not sure. Oh, Tyler, you gotta. Oh, the fuck? The fuck is that? Shit. Mad Hunter. The actual fuck? Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Oh shit, Allison killed her. Oh shit. End of the first chapter? Gotta be, surely. Fucking knew it. <laughs> wow, okay. Shit in hell. Okay. Um, I mean... What do I say? Um... Super intriguing. I'm not so sure about the whole manhunter, child hunter thing at the end. Don't know what that's all about. But other than that, oh my god, they absolutely rocked the way that they told this story. Uh, oh, oh, I know we got our choices. Tyler and Alison. Alison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering, which was the ring. Uh, Alison was delighted to solve the prince's riddle with her brother. So 15% of the people decided to bust the door open. Tyler felt supported by Alison's trust at the store. Uh, Tyler was really sure of his bond with Alison when she sided with him. Ooh, a lot of people sided with Tyler. Uh, Tyler protected himself against Sam's aggression. Uh, didn't call Sam out. Wow. It's almost a 50-50 split there as well. Uh, didn't get an answer. Forty-six percent learned the truth. Oh my god. Okay. Um, and he felt rejected by Alison when she didn't side with him. Okay. Well, I mean, we were gonna divide people either way. So, 
I'm hoping it doesn't go firing straight into chapter two. So what now? Well, she's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Oh, okay. Nice little teaser for next time round. All right, okay. Um, I guess that puts us in a good place for episode two. Ah, oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Well, I think I'm probably going to leave it there for tonight. Guys, thank you very much for watching me play through this game. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's going to be a cool one. I'm really looking forward to carrying on with that. Um, but I'm going to go get some food. I'm going to go warm myself up with a coffee. But guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all again very, very soon.